welcome back to another video and today we have the event for Monster Jam sign up series number 220. So before we begin today's video, I would just like to tell you guys right now that today, the day that I'm filming this video on March 8th, 2023 is my 9 year anniversary on YouTube. That is right guys, it was on this day all the way back in 2014 when I made my first ever video in the Monster Jam community and now here we are 9 years later which is just absolutely insane to think about it's even crazier to think about that my anniversary next year is going to be 10 years a whole decade that is just crazy so i just wanted to take a minute to say thank you guys so much for all of your support over the years it really really means a lot to me and if it wasn't for you guys i would not still be here today making these videos so i really really appreciate each and every single one of you whether you guys have been here for just a month or nine years i really appreciate you guys and uh, pretty much ever since like October, November, my channel has really, really skyrocketed. And that's another thing I wanted to get into very quickly is that ever since my last video, I have hit not only 5,000, but also 6,000 subscribers as well. My channel has just been absolutely blowing up recently. And I just wanted to say again, thank you guys so, so much. Um, right as I'm posting this video, I am right around, I believe, 6,200, which is just crazy. Uh, so anyways, guys, enough talking. We are over a minute and a half into this video. Video. So I'm going to show you guys the field of trucks for this sign up series now. So here is the field of trucks right here that I am very quickly going to scroll through so you guys can look for your name and see what truck you are in. So for this sign up series in the lineup, we have a total of 64 trucks, which for those of you guys that don't know, 64 is a perfectly even number to where we are not going to have any fast losers for this sign up series. So this sign up series is one and done. If you lose, you are eliminated for the entire event. Now there are a couple of things that I do want to point out. First and foremost, there are two Grandma Gravediggers in this event. You guys can see one of them right here is the five pack, and I already passed uh, the other one, which is the one for Mix 20. Now, when I show you guys the races up close, I will show which one is which because they're almost exactly the same. Um, it's really hard to tell just by a, a glance which one is which. And I did not mean to do that. Um, but uh, yeah, because two different people picked Grandma Gravedigger and they've made two different versions. So I figured why not give one to each of the guys that picked that truck. But anyways, guys, there is the bottom of the field of trucks. All right, guys, so now let's take a look at the races. So we're going to kick things off with Cyclops taking on the see-through crew Bakugan Dragonoid. Now here is the first line of races. There's like five or six lines of trucks here. Uh, there is the defending championship truck from series 219, the training trucks zombie looking to win back to back. And actually the 25th anniversary Gravedigger is looking for his revenge because he lost in the championship race to the training truck zombie in that sign up series. Oh, and by the way, this grandma Gravedigger right here is the one for mix 20. So the one that races first is for mix 20. The one over here is the one from the Gravedigger five pack. Just so you guys know which one is which. Um, but anyways, guys, we are almost done here. We have two more rows to go through, and then we will finally be able to kick off this event. So here's the final row right here. And round number one is going to end off with Double Decker taking on Rage. So those are all of the races. Now, without further ado, we're going to kick things off with Cyclops taking on the see-through crew Bakugan Dragonoid. So sign-up series 220 is underway. <laughs> And the first win is going to go to Cyclops. Next up, we have the Sheer Madness Soldier Fortune taking on the Surf Pirate's Curse. And it is going to go to Soldier Fortune. Next up, we have Nightmare taking on the Max Contrast Megalodon. And they make contact on the ramp. Megalodon flips over, and that gives the win to Nightmare. Next up, we have Son of a Digger from Mix 16 taking on Fire Avenger. And that is going to be a great race, and Avenger is going to take the come from behind win. Next up, we have the Purple Jurassic Attack taking on the Inverse Gravedigger. And Jurassic Attack flips over early. That is going to give the win to the Inverse Gravedigger. Next up, we have the Nitro Neons Full Charge taking on the Holiday Stunt Truck. And it is going to go to the Holiday Stunt Truck. Next up, we have Raven taking on the Reveal the Steel Avenger. And it is going to go to Raven. Next up, we have the True Heavy Metal El Toro Loco taking on Lumberjack. And, oh, what a race. El Toro Loco goes tumbling. Now, let's take a look here from the aerial view. Man, that is really, really close. Let's go straight down here. Oh, my goodness. I, 
I think they're dead even, honestly. That is such a close race. This right here is just about straight on. And their two tires here look basically even. I think we're going to have to do our first rerun of the event. All right, so we have switched up the lanes. Who is going to take the win this time? It is going to be Lumberjack. Next up, we have the Earth Dragon taking on the Training Truck Zombie. And it is going to go to your defending championship truck, the Training Truck Zombie. Next up, we have the Hyperfueled Gravedigger taking on the Skeleton Zombie. And it is going to go to Zombie. Next up, we have Bro Camino taking on Big Kahuna from, I believe, either Mix 4 or Mix 5. And it is going to go to Big Kahuna. Next up, we have the Max Contrast Yeti taking on the 25th Anniversary Gravedigger. And Yeti goes tumbling. That's going to give the win to your defending runner-up, the 25th Anniversary Gravedigger. Next up, we have Superman taking on Whiplash. And that is a pretty good race, but it's going to go to Whiplash. Next up, we have the Man-Eater Zombie taking on the Mix 20 Grandma Gravedigger. And, ooh, that is a great race. Zombie had the lead, but I think... Oh, yeah, taking a look here from the aerial view, you guys can definitely tell, especially if I go straight down, that Grandma Gravedigger took the win. Next up, we have Monster Mutt Poodle taking on the oldest truck in the entire series, Megalodon from Mix 1. And it is going to go to Monster Mutt Poodle, a defending championship truck. Next up, we have Training Trucks Earthshaker taking on Sparkle Smash. And Earthshaker rolls over, and that's going to give Sparkle Smash the win. What an upset. Next up, we have Hunter Max D taking on Bad Company. And they make contact on the ramp, and that's going to give the win to the Hunter Max D. Next up, we have the Training Trucks Megalodon taking on the Surf Aqua Stallion. And Megalodon turns to the right, and that gives the win to Aqua Stallion. Next up, we have Slinger taking on the Silver Wolf's Head. And it is going to go to Wolf's Head. What a race. Next up, we have Boneyard Gravedigger taking on Ride Truck Blue Thunder. And that is going to give the win to the Boneyard Gravedigger. Next up, we have the Halloween Son of a Digger taking on the original Kraken from Mix 16. And Kraken has a pretty bad run. That's going to give the win to the Halloween Son of a Digger. Next up, we have Earth Earthshaker taking on Raw Crustacean. And it is going to go to Crustacean, edging out Earthshaker at the end. Next up, we have the Mystery Machine taking on Bulldozer. And the Mystery Machine rolls over, and that's going to give the win to Bulldozer. Next up, we have Ride Truck Gravedigger taking on Emoji Strong. And it's going to go to the Ride Truck Gravedigger. Next up, we have Black Pearl taking on the very fast Monster Mutt Dalmatian from the Double Packs that has the BKT printing on the tires. And he gets a slow start, but it doesn't matter. He's going to get the comeback win against Black Pearl. Next up, we have the Flash taking on the Galaxy's Gravedigger. And it is going to go to the Galaxy's Gravedigger with possibly the best run of the night. Next up, we have Grandma Gravedigger from the 5-Pack taking on the Gears Max D. And it is going to go to the Grandma Gravedigger. They make contact on the ramp. That's about the third time that's happened here today. And they both go tumbling very awkwardly. But as you guys can tell, Grandma Gravedigger is going to take the win. Next up, we have Iron Outlaw taking on the Elemental's Bakugan Dragonoid. And it is going to go to Iron Outlaw. Next up, we've got the Showtime Black El Toro Loco taking on Shaker. And Black El Toro Loco rolls over. That gives the win to Shaker. Next up, we have Tropical Thunder taking on the 30th Anniversary Stunt Truck. And it is going to go to Tropical Thunder. Next up, we have the True Heavy Metal Max D taking on the Earth Monster Mutt Dalmatian. And it is going to go to Monster Mutt Dalmatian with the Come From Behind win. Next up, we have the final race of round number one, which is going to be between Double Decker and Rage. 
And it looks like Double Decker is going to get the win. All right, guys, so that concludes round number one, and now it is time for round number two. So here's a look at all of the races. There are still 32 trucks remaining, and like I said in the beginning of the video, there are going to be no fast loser races in this event. So without further ado, we're going to kick things off with Cyclops taking on the Sheer Madness Soldier Fortune. So round number two is underway. And the first win is going to go to Cyclops. Next up, we've got Nightmare taking on Fire Avenger. And it is going to go to Fire Avenger. Next up, we have Inverse Gravedigger taking on the Holiday Stunt Truck. And it is going to go to the Inverse Gravedigger as the Holiday Stunt Truck flips over on his roof. Next up, we have Raven taking on Lumberjack. And what a race. I believe it is Lumberjack, and yes, it is. Next up, we have a Battle of the Zombies between the Training Truck and the Skeleton. And it is going to go to the Training Truck. Next up, we have Big Kahuna taking on the 25th Anniversary Gravedigger. And it is going to go to the 25th Anniversary Gravedigger. And you guys know what that means. Next round, we are going to have a rematch of the championship race from Sign Up Series 219. I am really looking forward to that. Next up, we have Whiplash taking on the Mix 20 Grandma Gravedigger. And it's going to go to Whiplash. Next up, we have Monster Mutt Poodle taking on Sparkle Smash. And it is going to go to Sparkle Smash tumbling to victory. Next up, we have the Hunter Max D taking on the Surf Aqua Stallion. And it's going to go to Max D. Next up, we have the Silver Wolf's Head taking on the Boneyard Gravedigger. And it's going to go to Boneyard Gravedigger. Next up, we have Halloween Son of a Digger taking on the Raw Crustacean. And it is going to go to the Halloween Son of a Digger. Next up, we have Bulldozer taking on the Ride Truck Gravedigger. And it is going to go to Bulldozer. Now, I know that Gravedigger did just barely hit that right there, but he barely tapped it at the end, and I think it was pretty obvious that either way, Bulldozer was going to take the win, so he will move on. Next up, we have Monster Mutt Dalmatian taking on the Galaxy's Gravedigger. And it is going to go to Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Next up, we have Grandma Gravedigger from the 5-Pack taking on Iron Outlaw. And it's going to go to Iron Outlaw. So both of the Grandma Gravediggers have been eliminated in round two. Next up, we have Shaker taking on Tropical Thunder. And Shaker rolls over. That gives the win to Tropical Thunder. Next up, we have the final race of round number two, which is going to be between the Earth Monster Mutt Dalmatian and Double Decker. And it is going to go to Double Decker with a very good run. So now we are down to round number three. There are 16 trucks remaining. And here is a great look at all of the races. Now, one thing that I do have to say is there is a ton of fast trucks remaining. We have a ton of past championship trucks as well as a handful of trucks that have never won before in the past but have came very, very close. And they are looking to finally close the deal here today. We're going to have to wait and see if they can do it. But without further ado, we're going to kick things off with Cyclops taking on the Fire Avenger. Who is going to be the first person to advance to the quarterfinals? It is going to be Cyclops. Next up, we have Inverse Gravedigger taking on Lumberjack. And what a race down to the end. That is definitely the best race of the night, and it looks like it's going to go to Lumberjack. That is a huge upset win. We all know how fast the inverse Gravedigger is, and he loses right there to Lumberjack. Next up, we have the race that we have all been waiting for, a rematch of the championship race from Sign Up Series 219. Now, before we do this race, one other thing that I would like to point out very quickly is the 25th anniversary Gravedigger. Not only did he lose in the championship race of Sign Up Series 219, I believe he lost in the quarterfinals of sign-up series 218. So the past two sign-up series, he has been oh so close, but fell just short. He's looking to get his revenge here now against the truck that beat him in the previous sign-up series. Let's see if he can do it. 
He will get the job done the 25th anniversary. All right, well, I tried to tap on the screen to make it focus better, but I accidentally ended the clip. But as I was saying, the 25th anniversary Gravedigger has eliminated the training truck zombie. So that is a huge upset right there. And next up, we have Whiplash taking on Sparkle Smash. And it is going to go to Whiplash. Next up, we have a Max D and Gravedigger battle between Max D Hunter and Gravedigger Boneyard. And it is going to be another great race. I'm telling you guys, all the trucks still in this are very, very fast and very worthy of winning this event. But we're going to have to go straight down here. And it looks like just barely it's going to be the Boneyard Gravedigger. Next up, we have Halloween Son of a Digger taking on Bulldozer. And it's going to go to Bulldozer. Next up, we have arguably the two fastest 2019 trucks on my channel, Monster Mutt Dalmatian and Iron Outlaw. And they prove right there how fast they are. And it looks like just barely it's going to go to Iron Outlaw. Next up, we have the final race until the quarterfinals, which is going to be between Tropical Thunder and Double Decker. And it's going to go to Tropical Thunder. So now we are down to the quarterfinals of Monster Jam Sign-Up Series number 220. So without further ado, let's go over the field of trucks. So inside of Cyclops, we have Frank Triplett. Inside of Lumberjack, we have none other than Mega Monster Jam 97A. I'm not even surprised at this point. Then inside of the 25th Anniversary Gravedigger, we have Lenny Marroquin. Inside of the Mix 8 Whiplash, we have Q, just the letter Q. Uh, inside of Boneyard Gravedigger, we have Jarvis 570. Inside of Bulldozer, we have Big Ant. Inside of Iron Outlaw, we have Price Austin. And inside of Tropical Thunder, we have Caleb Bostwick. So those are the eight trucks and drivers left here in the quarterfinals. Now, when we get down to the semifinals is when I will go more in depth on how many uh, championships each truck has, as well as how close they have been recently. So without further ado, we're going to kick things off with Cyclops taking on Lumberjack, who is going to be the first person to move on to the semifinals. It is going to be, I think it's Cyclops. Let's actually take a look here from the aerial view. That is definitely Cyclops. He is going to eliminate Lumberjack, and Mega Monster Jam 97A is not going to get another championship this time. Next up, we have the 25th anniversary Gravedigger taking on Whiplash. And it is going to go to Whiplash over the 25th anniversary Gravedigger. And for the third consecutive sign-up series, the 25th anniversary Gravedigger has fallen just short. This truck has had such bad luck when it gets down to the end. He has no problem making it down to the quarterfinals or the semifinals or even like last time the championship race. But he has fallen just short yet again here today. Next up, we have Boneyard Gravedigger taking on Bulldozer. And it's going to go to the Boneyard Gravedigger, who is going to be the final person to move on to the semifinals, Iron Outlaw or Tropical Thunder. It is going to be Iron Outlaw. All right, guys, so just like that, we are down to the semifinals of Monster Jam Sign-Up Series 220. So before we get into anything, one thing you guys may notice right off the bat is all four of these trucks are pretty old. These two, as well as Iron Outlaw, were all released in 2019, and Boneyard Gravedigger was released in 2020 in Mix 10. So the newest truck out of these four came out all the way back in Mix 10, and we are nearly on Mix 30 right now, which is absolutely insane. But it's pretty cool, though, to still see some of the original Spin Master Lisa is doing pretty good on my channel, but without further ado, let's go over the field of trucks. So inside of Cyclops, we have Frank Triplett. Inside of Whiplash, we have Q. Inside of Boneyard Gravedigger, we have Jarvis 570. And inside of Iron Outlaw, we have Price Austin. So as far as these four trucks, Cyclops and Boneyard Gravedigger have never won before. Now, Boneyard Gravedigger has won at least one event in team racing. He might have even won two. I can't really remember off the top of my head. And then Cyclops, he has came very close so many times as well, but he has just never been able to get the job done. We'll have to see if that changes here today. But uh, Whiplash and Iron Outlaw, on the other hand, Whiplash is a one-time championship truck, which won in sign-up series two. 
207, and Iron Outlaw is a two-time championship truck. He won Series 185 and 204. Now, as far as the drivers, only one of these four has ever won before, and that is the driver of Iron Outlaw. Price Austin is a one-time champion. However, his one win came all the way back in Series 153, which was on the 4th of July of 2018. So that was nearly five years ago, which is such a long time. It's amazing that he's still signing up for my sign-up series to this day. And I can tell you right now, he wants this win just as much as anybody. He's trying to finally get that second win and get his first win in nearly five years. So anyways, guys, I've been talking for about two minutes now. So without further ado... Who is going to go to the championship race? Is it going to be Frank Triplett in Cyclops or Q in Whiplash? So who is going to go to the championship race? It is going to be Cyclops driven by Frank Triplett. He is moving on to the championship race. Congratulations, man. But as for Whiplash and Q, you were so close, man, to getting your first ever win. And the truck Whiplash was so close to getting its second ever win. But better luck in sign-up series 221. So who is going to meet Frank Triplett and Cyclops in the championship race? Is it going to be Jarvis 570 in the Boneyard Gravedigger or Price Austin in Iron Outlaw? Let's find out. It is going to be Boneyard Gravedigger driven by Jarvis570. He is moving on to the championship race. Congratulations, man. But as for Price Austin, unfortunately, the wait is going to have to be even longer to getting your first win since 2018 because you have fallen just short here today. And Iron Outlaw was so close to getting its third ever win, but unfortunately, the truck will not win as well, obviously. So better luck next time, man, in sign-up series 221. And now it is time for the championship race of Monster Jam sign-up series 220. So inside of Cyclops, we have Frank Triplett. And inside of Boneyard Gravedigger, we have Jarvis 570. So although both of these trucks have been fast for a very long time, we are going to have a new championship truck and driver because neither of them have won before. So that is definitely what I like to see. Like I said, we're going to have a brand new winner, which is really awesome. So without further ado, let's find out who it's going to be. The winner of Monster Jam Sign-Up Series 220 is going to be none other than... It is going to be the Boneyard Gravedigger, I think. Man, this is a tough call because if Cyclops hit the shelf, obviously we would have to rerun it. But I don't really think he did. It's definitely tough to tell. It really is. But if you guys look like all the way around the truck, especially right there, you guys can see it really does not appear that he hit the shelf. And even if you guys go back and watch the footage, I think even if the shelf wasn't there, maybe he did tap it just a little bit. But I think it's still pretty obvious that Boneyard Gravedigger was going to win. So Jarvis 570 in the Boneyard Gravedigger has won. Sign up series 220. Congratulations, man. This is a very, very well-deserved victory. Like I said, this truck has won before, but never in the sign up series, only in team racing. So congratulations, man. Man, you have done it here today. And as for Frank Triplett, you have been signing up for my sign-up series for a pretty long time, but unfortunately you fell just inches short here today. I thought it might have been your day to finally get your first ever win, but unfortunately it was not. So better luck in Series 221 to you, man. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Again, congratulations to Jarvis570 and the Boneyard Gravedigger for winning today's event. And just like I said in the beginning of the video, I just want to say again, thank you guys so much for an amazing nine years on YouTube. I cannot believe that it is my nine-year anniversary. That is just absolutely crazy. And the day that I'm posting this video is the day after because my anniversary was on March 8th. But the day that I'm filming this is March 8th. So uh, whether you want to look at it, as today being the day or not um it's still my nine year anniversary so um again thank you guys so much for an amazing nine years and i really cannot wait to see what year number 10 it's even amazing just to say that but what year number 10 has in store so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys are new to my channel i've been making these videos for a really long time now and i don't really plan on stopping anytime soon so make sure to subscribe if you're new and then leave a like on the video turn on post notifications and comment anything you guys want to down in the comments below and i will see you guys next time